Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today is Tuesday's Tips, Tricks, and Techniques, and we're going to use some regular pencils that have the full erasers, just some various inks, and we're going to make a really pretty polka dot card background. A lot of you may have already done this lots of times, but I think it is a pretty technique anyway. Now you need to make sure that you get some good ink on your eraser. And then you got to press it down pretty firm and just press it in different areas it's another way to stamp without having to pull out stamps all right we're going to go in with our green this is cracked pistachio I'm going to pull some of the blue back in here. And you just kind of keep doing this until you're satisfied with what it looks like. There's no rhyme or reason. Okay, I think that is good right there. We're going to let this dry for just a minute and then we're going to do another technique on here. Now, in order to clean up your erasers, you can just use a baby wipe. Wipe over them, or just to use a, a rag that has water on it, doesn't matter. And they're all cleaned up, ready to be used for something else. I'm going to grab my little Tombow pigment ink pen, and that is the name. I can't, I don't know if you can see it. I can't pronounce it, so, but anyway, we're going to grab that. It's got a little hard brush tip on it, and we're going to go around the edges, and I'm just going to do some long stripes and then a couple of little dashes long a couple of dashes long Alright, so there we go with that. I think that kind of finishes out the edges of the card. And now we're going to put this card front together. Now I'm going to use just a scrap piece of paper for the background that has the gold dots on it. I'm going to kind of stay with the dot theme here. So I'm going to put that down in the back. There is that, and then I'm going to grab just this little piece of scrap paper. I think I'm going to put it across just like that. It's just a little piece of scrap that I have, so I'm going to just going to mark it where I need to cut it off. And it looks like about right there. There we go. So we're going to glue this straight down. Now I'm going to glue it sort of close to the bottom. Closer to the bottom than the top. Like that. And then I just cut this out of ephemera pack. It was out of a piece of paper. Let's see. It came in the collection that had these words in it that I did the other video on. It was just a piece of random paper that had some quotes on it. And I liked this one that just said, thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're going to put that down right there, but I'm going to put this up on foam tape. And we're going to use our Arteza foam tape on this. I think they may still have this on sale. If they do, I will link it below, and if not, I'll still link it. I have a 10% discount code that you can use if you want to. I love this tape. It is, to me, I had someone ask me about, is it as strong as Scotty, the Scott brand? I think it's a little bit stronger. I've, I have used Scott for years, and I think this is actually a little bit stronger. It, 
feels like it is to me anyway. The only difference is you you know you have to cut this with your scissors because it has that um, plastic like coating on the top, which is fine with me. I don't that doesn't bother me. And this is a lot less expensive than the Scott is. And it's the same amount of tape. It's 36 yards, so it'll last a while. Now we're going to put this down. I'm going to try to center this up without having to get my head in the shot. Hold it up. That looks pretty good. So we'll put that down right there, and then I tied just a little tiny bow. And I'm going to put that at the top right there. And I'm just going to use a little bit of my Fabrifix. And put him right there. Then I'm just going to take a couple of these little pieces of bling. And I'm just going to put at random on top of a couple of the dots around through here. Some of these have green in them, so we'll put green on top of green. It's just a random order here. I think right there. There we go. And that is the card front. Quick and easy and it's very, very cute. You can make lots and lots of these and send them out to your friends as thank you gifts. But I think they're sweet. And then the stamping is very, very simple as you've seen. All right, guys. That is our Tuesday's Tips, Tricks, and Techniques. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to be notified when we put up new videos, click that bell. And you will get notified each time a new video goes live. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.